Paddling TV is brought to you by Ex Officio and their Soul Cool collection of shirts, which not only wick moisture from the body and dry quickly, but are made with ice fill technology. Ex Officio's Soul Cool shirts actually dissipate heat and provide a cooling effect. Check them out at exofficio.com. Sculling is a technique that lets you get steady support from your paddle blade by changing the angle at which it passes through the water. Learning to scull will go a long way towards the kayak roll because it'll develop your paddle dexterity and your understanding of the relationship between your paddle blade and the water. As you improve, you'll actually use elements of your sculling technique to make small corrections and to compensate for things like waves and current while you're rolling. To develop your sculling technique, we're going to look at the sculling draw, and then the sculling brace. You'll then see the sculling concepts and techniques popping up throughout this DVD. The sculling draw gets planted with your paddle about a foot or two out to the side of the kayak and with your power face facing your body. Your upper body should be rotated aggressively to face the shaft as well and your top hand will cross your upper body to get your paddle shaft as vertical as possible. A vertical paddle shaft is ideal, but if you're not comfortable doing this in the beginning, it's all right to bring that top hand a bit lower put you in a bit more stable position. From this setup position, the sculling draw involves moving your paddle blade along a short path forward and backward, about a foot or two alongside of your kayak, with a blade angle that opens your power face to the oncoming water, which tries to pull your paddle away from your kayak. This open face blade angle is commonly referred to as a climbing angle, and it means that your leading edge is higher than the trailing edge. It's the same as spreading jam on toast. The leading edge needs to stay higher than the trailing edge. To keep this climbing angle, you'll cock your wrist back slightly as you sweep your blade forward. You'll then make a quick transition and curl your wrist forward before pulling the paddle back towards your stern. Keep in mind that the change in blade angle is subtle. If you open your power face too much, you'll be pushing your kayak forward and backward rather than steadily drawing it sideways. Don't forget that the power for the sculling draw comes from torso rotation. This is why it was so important that we wound our body aggressively to face the paddle shaft. By powering the sculling draw with your torso, your torso does the work while your arms stay in a relatively fixed position. 